Hey traders, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about an issue that I faced when I was making a multi time frame indicator. So let me go ahead and explain the issue and then we're going to find and we're going to talk about its solution. So here we can see that I have made this indicator which takes in four time frames as inputs and I wanted to check the formation of specific pattern that is used in the strat candles and that pattern is the two up or two down continuation so if there is a bullish candle and then after that there is another bullish candle that sweeps its high so the high of this next candle would be higher than this and low it would be uh, higher than the previous low as well so this would be two up and i wanted to find this type of formation on multiple time frames and similar is the case with the two down that is uh, formation of another lower low and higher low okay as you can see in this case here so I wanted to analyze this type of structure on multi time frame so I took in four inputs and then I defined my conditions and then I checked those conditions using the security function as you can see here and after that let me just go ahead and after that I formed the table and here I'm plotting all the data in the table so if I add this to a chart you'll see that indicator is working correctly but the problem is the time is not standardized so as you can see if we go to the settings we have 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour and four hour now 15 30 and 60 is okay we can understand but 240 um it, it will be very difficult to judge what time frame we put in because here we have put in the four hours but here we're seeing the 240 minutes and if I change it, the value will change as well. So for example, if I do it one day, then we can see that it says one day. But in case of 12 hours, we get the time in the terms of minutes that is 720. So this is not user friendly and it's very difficult to make these calculations on the go. So to solve this issue, I had to design a custom function and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that function here after the inputs so that we can standardize the time that we're taking as input so this function will convert this time whatever the input is into minutes second days or hours so let me see and copy this and let me paste it here so here we have made a custom get time frame string function which can first of all converts whatever the time frame is to the number and then we are checking if this is not empty, if this is not an A, then we have this function which standardizes it. So for example, in, in a year, we have 525,600 uh, minutes. So we will call it as year. And then similarly, if, we, if the time frame is in terms of the months, then we have 43,200 minutes. And then we'll add that. So I have standardized this using this custom function and I'll post the whole code of this indicator on our Forex B forums. So if you have not yet, I recommend you to join our Forex B forums on which we have made a dedicated section for traders like you. So for example, if I go to forums.forexb, then you can see here in the forums, we have Pine script by Pine Wizards. So in this, there is a dedicated section for traders like you, and I'm actively participating in this forum, answering any questions or any queries. And I'll be posting the code to all my videos that I post on YouTube in this forum as well. So to join this forum, you can go to Google and search for Forex, Forex View Forums. And then from here, let me just go ahead and, so here I need to correct this. So Forex View Forum. And you have to go to this forum and then you can click here and register and then you can make your user and then start commenting or start engaging with other pine coders in this community here so now after standardizing this we'll use this function this get time frame string function and we'll pass in the time frame that we are taking as input so let me just go ahead and change this here so what we want to do is here we want to say get time frame string and then we want to close this so we already have defined this function which standardizes the time 
and now if i just do the same with the other cells because we have four time frame inputs and then if i update this script now you see that this 720 will change to 12 hours as you can see here so now we are seeing 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour 12 hour now whatever you do like whichever input you give it's gonna standardize that so for example if i go to 10 seconds you see there is a 10 second return there and then you can also go ahead and change it to any other time frame like this here for minutes so now we are getting the time standardized in the table and other than that we can clearly understand now by just by looking at the table what kind of multi time frame analysis we are performing so i hope you understand the concept of this video and i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video thank you